Okay, so we're gonna remove the wheel so that we can do brakes on this truck. Now when you jack up the truck, make sure you use the proper rated jack stand and also make sure you wear protective uh, gear. Make sure you have on your eye goggles, wear a pair of gloves to save your hand from getting cut up. I know some people don't like it, but after a while you get used to it. All right, so we're gonna pull the wheel off. And I'm just using a regular pry bar to do this. Now to aid in case the jack stand fail, this is what I do. I put the tire under the truck just in case. Now, I'm not saying to use this as a jack stand, but just an extra safety precaution along with a jack stand. Now while you're here, this is what I like to do because a lot of time the truck ABS light is on. Over over a period of time, the ABS sensor vibrate out. It's just a clip that's holding it in. So what I like to do, I like to put my pry bar and pry it back in a little bit. That's so that sometimes it's just out a little bit and sometimes as soon as you do the brakes you reinstall them the truck go out and the customer complain my ABS light up, light come on and they want to blame the mechanic you know they blame the mechanic for everything so let's go ahead and remove these brakes this is very simple this is what I do all the time. Very easy. Alright. So you just pry this, use the pry bar, pry this down, remove these rollers. Remove the spring inside. From inside, just hooked around here. And you just simply bring this over. And that's it. Come on the other side. These sometimes they're a little difficult to come out. You gotta knock them out with the hammer. So the new set of brakes is gonna come with new gear, new hardware. So it's just it's just the rollers. This pin, this pin go in right here. Make sure you go down on the lower one. Use the hammer, just put your finger here. And, you know, maybe you don't put your finger, maybe you use a pliers and hold it, right? And you just hammer it in. 
Like I said, make sure you're wearing protective eye gear when you're doing this. Alright, that's it. And uh, new roller, there's two rollers. As you can see, this one is a the smaller one. This go up here with a spring retainer. So here's the spring retainer. You put it like that, and you you install it. All right? You do the same with this one also. Sorry. It's on this side. So, the spring retainer is going to wedge up here. Wedge there, you can see it inside there. Alright? Right. This one, the other one go in here. Just like the other side. That's it. Alright, two set of springs. This blue spring, the big one, go over this clip here. Alright. And clip here. This other two spring is going to go in the back there. But I like to put these on last. Because it's easier. Right? So the top, we're going to put it in the top part of the brake assembly first. It's gonna, the spring is going to come and sit over here. When you take the brakes off, make sure the S cam is good. Make sure there's no play in the bushing inside here. We're going to reinstall the brake shift. So what I like to do, I put the roller up here first and then you bring this up as much as you can and you just put this piece, pull the spring in, All right? you do the same with the back, with the back one. All right? Then you place the pry bar in the middle here and you pry it down. Alright, watch your finger while don't put your finger inside here while you're doing this. Sometimes the pry bar slip. But you pry it down. Then you put the the ring in. And that's it. That's how you replace a brakes, a air brake shoe. All right.